Yeah, yeah. The next one says, Brief's unemployment rate hits new um, um hits new high in July. So it says official data shows Greece unemployment rate um rose to a new core high in July as the country continues to um, grapple from recession, hit economy following the implementation of touch and start of tough starting measures. So Greece is going to do um, a, a, a starting measures. Yeah, um, what you said? Um, Greece is going. Greece is going to do austerity measures. It's going to tough the situations in Greece. Got an unemployment rate in Greece. So, so give me um, Isaiah 19 or something. 15. It's not 15. Yeah, I mean, Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Yeah, that's right. So, that, um, that each right there is talking about America. Those are the jobs. So, so it's also talking about Greece too. So, um, um, the Greece jobs, yeah, their jobs are going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On, on the employment rate. Yeah, because Greece. Yeah, Greece is falling, right? Greece is one of the, uh, of the, 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 the ten toes of that statue. Okay, Greece is part of the EU. Greece is part of the NATO, and Greece is in debt. That's why Merkel keep, uh, keep bothering, um, um, you know, always initiating that austerity plan. And a lot of people in the government is losing their jobs. A lot of people in the hospitals and so on, those government jobs, they losing that over there in Greece because of the austerity measure because they tied in with Babylon. Now we're gonna read about that. Give me um Danny real quick. Um, give me Danny. Give me Danny. Um, this is the vision that um Danny had. Is it Danny two verse thirty six. Yeah, verse thirty six. Yeah, bro. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 36. Come on. This is the dream. And we will tell the interpretation thereof uh -huh. before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings. For, for the power of heaven hath given thee a kingdom. Power. And strength and glory. Yeah, yeah, because this is an interpretation. Danny had a dream about a statue. Alright, with a, a tall statue, the head represent uh, the Babylonians. Uh, the arms represent, uh, what's that, the uh, media Persians. Alright, the, the, the waist area represent the Romans. Now, Greece. And the feet and the legs represent what? Uh, the Roman Empire. Okay? Go ahead, Al. Verse 13. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, uh -huh. the beasts of the field. Yeah, the beasts of the fields are the other nations. Go ahead, Al. The beasts of the field and the bones of the heaven. Had he given into thy hand and had made thee ruler over them all. Come on. Thou art this head of gold. Yeah, that head of gold, as I was mentioning earlier, that's the Babylonian with Nebuchadnezzar. He's the head of gold. Go ahead, huh? Verse 39. Uh -huh. And after thee shall arise another kingdom. Inferior to thee, and another third kingdom. Yeah, that, that other kingdom is talking about the media for uh, all. Persians, the Medes. Go ahead. And another kingdom, and another third kingdom of God, mm -hmm. which shall bear rule over all the earth. Yeah, yeah, that third kingdom is talking about uh, Greece. Started with Alexander the Freak. He was that leopard. Let me prove it to you real quick. 
Let's go to Daniel. Uh, Daniel 8. He was that rough goat. Give me Daniel 8, verse 20, uh, 21. Huh? This is Daniel chapter 8 and 21. Come on. And the rough goat is the king of Greece. The rough goat is the what? King of Greece. Come on. And the great horn is that between his eyes is the first king. Uh huh. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, mm -hmm. but not in his power. That's right. So when it's when it, talking about that, it's talking about four generals. When Alexander the uh, Greek died, there were four generals that took over. But Alexander took down the, uh, the, uh, the Persians, and he is that rough goat. That's why Yahweh Shah said, when I come, I'm going to separate. You can find that scripture for me. I believe it's Matthew 25, starting at 31. Yeah. Matthew 25, 31. He's going to separate the goat from the what? From the sheep. And the sheep are Israelites. <laughs> right. Right. Come on, somebody, Matthew 25, 31. Matthew 25, 32. Yeah, go ahead. For him shall be gathered all nations. Come on. And he shall separate them one from another. Uh huh. As a shepherd divides the sheep from the goat. Yeah, so why, why they say in church that we all need to come together? But when Yahweh shot come, he's going to separate the goat from the sheep. These are the sheep right here. They don't even know. I don't want with the um, purple shirt. He's a he's me. He gonna separate the sheep from the goat, man. Go ahead, on um, um, to the car. I seek it 34, 17. Come on. And as for you, oh my flock, that said the Lord, behold thou just between cattle and cattle, between the ram and the he goats. That's right, and the he goats. That's why I don't want Andrew, uh, Alexander the freak. That's Esau. The Mosai gonna destroy Esau. He gonna destroy that nation, man. Cause they despicable. Now let's go back to the tree, man. This is Daniel chapter two, verse thirty-nine. Come on. And after this shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of God, which shall bear rule over all the earth. Mm -hmm. And the fourth kingdom. Uh huh. Shall be strong as iron. Yeah, that fourth kingdom is the Roman Empire. America is the Roman Empire. It's the modern em um, empire. They're the extension of the ancient uh, Roman Empire. Go ahead. Go ahead. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces uh -huh. and subdued all things, as the iron that breaketh all these. It's broke in pieces and bruised. That's right. So it's gonna be broken and, and, and bruised, man. Starting with who? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai gonna break these kingdoms down, huh? He's that stone. All right, give me Revelation 13, I believe. Back up to hey, give me Revelation thir oh, 19. Let's go. Let's get straight to the point. Revelation 19, starting 11. Um, Revelation 19, verse 11. It says, When I saw heaven open, behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. It's called what? Faithful and true. Uh huh. And in righteousness, he doth judge make war. He will make war, man. Huh? Yeah, go, go straight to the point. Go to, um... Go, go to 12. Go to 12. 12. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And on his head were many crowns. Uh-huh. Yeah, many crowns. All that said was many crowns. So you think Yahweh Shad gonna have these crowns stacked like a building and he, and he gonna do a balancing act? Nah, man. <laughs> that means he's gonna take down these nations. Now give me that real quick at Psalms 2, Mark. I have Psalms 110. Alright, you are bring it Psalm up. Psalm 110 and 5. The Go Lord, ahead. the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings uh -huh. on the day of his wrath. Yeah, beautiful. That's straight to the point. That's cut and dry right there. You're gonna strike down these kings, man. He 
you're going to destroy these kingdoms. Yahweh Bashim Yashah is a fair judge because he gave all these other nations uh, a chance to rule. What you got? What you got? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the power of the four nights. Yeah. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. It's like what up? Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Uh-huh. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a pot of vessels. That's right. So your house, Bashim El Shai, is going to dash them like a pot of vessels, man. You're going to destroy these nations. And we're seeing it. We're seeing it. We're seeing what's going on in America with those floods. We're seeing how the Americans can't pay their mortgage. We're seeing how all these jobs in America, the fast food, is protesting for better wages. We're seeing it. Shit, if, it, if Ray Charles was still alive, he will see it. You will see it. But guess who don't see it? These seven-day Adventists don't see it. These Orthodox, these Muslims. These Rastafarians, they don't see the, uh, the fall of America. They don't see it. Because they pass this line to them. But we see it, man. Uh, you got more odds? Give me that. Uh, back to there. This, this is exactly what we're going to bring through. Let me just write this. You can bring that. That's beautiful. Perfect time. All right. Um, Okay, go ahead, um. And, and, and where's those swords? What was your number? 41. Where in Daniels 2, verse 41. Go ahead, uh. And where's those the feet and toes? Part of cotton. Head and part of iron. Uh, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be 